And today we're, we're looking at how structures hold up to earthquakes. The past several weeks we've, we've gone over how earthquakes are made and um, now we're looking at mainly the structures and how to build possibly earthquake proof structures. So the main support for the structure is going to be in the center. We made triangles for a base and we taped it to the cardboard. We decided to go with the sponge at the bottom. We used a heavy foundation for it. Triangles seem more sturdy because they support each other. And from the buildings we saw in the examples of the show, it just looks better and more sturdy. And whether or not that's a myth or if it's a fact that there is indeed such thing as an earthquake uh, proof structure. If there's an earthquake, it will stay, but these will move but, and the building will be on top. So they'll move a little bit, but they won't fall over completely. Using a drill, just moves the platform, just kind of simulating an earthquake for a slow, medium, and a strong earthquake. And behind me right now, you're seeing the students are designing earthquake uh, proof models. And we're going to test them here on the shape table to see who stands up the best. We're going to win.